Greetings. You've landed on our channel, the place we explore fascinating queries and perplexing enigmas of our daily existence. Before we plunge into the day's baffling subject, we'd love to request your backing. If your interest lies in content that stimulates thinking and you value our efforts, kindly click the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and remember to share your views in the comments section as we value your thoughts. Now, get ready as we're about to dissect a question that's been the center of endless discussions and research worldwide. A question that might alter your outlook on a widely relished routine. Stay tuned and let's embark on this cerebral expedition together. Have you ever mused over the captivating question? Is there genuinely a safe limit of alcohol consumption? If so, you're not alone. This query has been at the epicenter of countless health research and debates globally. Recent research has uncovered some shocking facts about alcohol consumption. A worldwide study undertaken by the Global Burden of Diseases Project at the University of Washington disclosed that alcohol doesn't benefit individuals below 40 years of age. Even minimal amounts of alcohol can escalate the risk of mortality for the youth. Shockingly, it was projected that over a billion people consumed harmful quantities of alcohol in the year 2020. Digging deeper, we discover that any level of alcohol intake heightens the risk of death. For individuals aged between 15 and 39, there is no health advantage to consuming alcohol, only health hazards. In fact, men in this age bracket amplify health risks by consuming slightly more than a tenth of a standard drink, while women increase health risks by consuming approximately a quarter of a standard drink. Now let's shift focus and examine the Canadian Centre on Substance Use and Addiction's fresh guidelines. They propose that the safest quantity of alcohol to consume is none. This is a significant deviation from Canada's former guidelines, which suggested limits of 10 drinks per week for women and 15 drinks per week for men. Alcohol has also been associated with numerous chronic conditions and is recognized as a known human carcinogen. The World Health Organization has also declared that there is no safe limit of alcohol intake. Recent research has questioned the previous belief that light to moderate drinking is beneficial for cardiovascular health and studies have found little to no benefit associated with light drinking. The World Health Organization has now issued a statement in the Lancet Public Health. When it comes to alcohol consumption, there is no safe quantity that doesn't impact health. Alcohol is a toxic, psychoactive and addiction-inducing substance and was classified as a Group 1 carcinogen by the International Agency for Research on Cancer decades back. This is the highest risk group, which also includes asbestos, radiation and tobacco. To sum up, there is no safe level of alcohol consumption. The risk to the drinker's health starts from the first sip of any alcoholic beverage. The only certainty is that the more you drink, the more detrimental it is. Or, in other words, the less you drink, the safer it is. Bear in mind, the decision is always in your hands. Make informed choices about your health. It's your life. Live it to the fullest. Remember, knowledge is power. The more you learn, the better decisions you can make for your health. But don't stop here. Our channel is committed to equipping you with the knowledge you need to lead a healthier, happier life. If you found this video beneficial, please like it, share it with your friends, and remember to subscribe for more enlightening content. Have thoughts or queries about what you've learned today? We're eager to hear from you. Leave a comment below. And remember, every choice you make matters. Stay tuned for our next video where we'll continue to challenge your preconceived notions about health. Stay informed. Stay connected.